Hello, I am Dr. Poona Rose, Professor and HOD in Physics in Government VYT Autonomous PG College, Durg. Now, today I am going to deliver one lecture on the topic Time Dependent Perturbation Theory, which is in the syllabus of MSc Second Semester, Paper 1 and in Unit 1. Let us start with the topic. Now, time dependent perturbation theory. When the Hamiltonian depends upon time, then it is generally not possible to determine the exact solution of Schrodinger wave equation. Therefore, the time dependent perturbation method is used to find the solution. The total Hamiltonian is divided into two parts, that is one unperturbed part for which the exact solution can be determined and it is denoted by H0. The second part is the perturbed part which is small and time dependent perturbation part and is denoted by H' dash. and hence Total Hamiltonian H equal to H0 plus H dash that is denoted by equation 1. The unperturbed Hamiltonian H0 can be solved for the normalized eigenfunction phi0 and its eigenvalue En that is we have H0 phi n equal to En phi n. This is, let it be equation number 2. Time dependent perturbation part H dash is small. As H dash depends upon time, the stationary solution of the actual Schrodinger equation does not exist. The time dependent Schrodinger wave equation is given by iota H cross delta psi by delta t equal to H psi. Let it be equation number 3. The energy states of such a system are stationary. The time enters only in places according to the equation psi t equal to summation of a n function of t phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota upon H cross multiplied by E and T, E N multiplied by T, that is equation number 4. When the terms A ends are, where the terms A ends are time dependent constants and phi function of R is time independent. The equation represents solution of equation 3 Therefore, substituting the value of psi and h in equation 1 and 4 in 3, we get iota h cross delta by delta t summation over n a n function of t phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota divided by h cross e n into t equal to h0 plus h dash summation multiplied by summation a n which is function of t phi n e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross or we can write summation over n iota h cross a n dot phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n t divided by h cross plus summation over n a n e n phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross which is equal to summation over n a n h 0 phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n multiplied by t upon h cross plus summation of a n h dash 
phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n into t upon h cross where d by dt of a n t is equal to a n dot. Now using equation 2 that is h 0 phi 0 equal to e n phi 0 we have summation of n iota h cross a n dot phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross plus summation over n a n e n phi n function of r e raised to the power of iota minus iota e n multiplied by t upon h cross which is equal to summation of n a0 e n phi n function of r e raised to the power of iota e n t upon h cross plus summation over n a n h dash phi n function of r multiplied by e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross or summation of n iota h cross a n dot phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross. This is equal to summation of a n h dash phi n function of r e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross upon h cross. So this is the final solution cancelling the common terms from both the sides. This is equation number 5. Multiplying both sides by phi k star and integrating over configuration space, we get summation of i h cross n dot e raised to the power of minus iota e n into t upon h cross integration phi k star phi n d tau this is equal to summation of a n e raised to the power of minus iota e n into t upon h cross multiplied by integration of phi k star h dash h dash phi n multiplied by d tau now using ortho normality ortho normality condition of phi's that is integration of phi k star phi n multiplied by d tau equal to chronicle delta k n now chronicle delta k n equal to 0 for n not equal to k and this is equal to 1 for n equal to k we get iota h cross a n e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross and chronic delta k n this is equal to summation over n a n e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross multiplied by phi k star h dash phi n into t tau because in the left hand side all the terms will be zero except kth term due to the properties of chronic delta chronic delta that is delta k n k we have we we have iota h cross a k dot e raised to the power of minus iota e n t upon h cross equal to summation of a n e raised to the power of minus iota e n into t upon h cross multiplied by integration of phi k star h dash phi n multiplied by d tau. Let it be equation number 6. The integral integration of phi k star h dash phi n into d tau at right hand side is a matrix 
which is given by matrix of k h dash n and it is denoted by h dash k n so iota h cross e dot k equal to summation of a n summation of n multiplied by a n e raised to the power of iota e k minus e n into t upon h cross multiplied by the matrix h dash k n let it be equation number 7 but e k minus e n upon h cross equal to omega k n this is equation number 8 which is bose angular frequency therefore time dependent a ns are given by are given by a k dot equal to iota h cross raised to the power of minus 1 summation of a n h dash k n e raised to the power of iota k n into t upon h cross this is equal to iota h cross raised to the power of minus 1 summation over n a n and uh, uh, matrix k bra k h dash get n e raised to the power of iota k n e raised to the power multiplied by e raised to the power of iota omega k n into t it is equation number 9 now if we replace in equation 1 h dash by lambda h dash where lambda is the parameter is a parameter then coefficients of a ns can be expressed in parameters of lambda as follows a n equal to a n 0 plus lambda a n 1 plus lambda square a n Two plus, let it be plus the higher orders. This is equation ten. Now substituting the value of a n s in equation four and equating the coefficients of lambda zero, we get iota h cross a k dot, which is function of zero. This is equal to zero. This is equation number eleven a. now equating coefficients of lambda we have iota h cross ak dot 1 this is equal to summation of an 0 <coughs> h dash kn e raised to the power of iota omega kn into t let it be equation number b so in general we can write iota h cross a k dot with power s plus one equal to summation over n a k raised to the power of s h dash k n e raised to the power of iota omega k n into t. Let it be equation number c, which is the general equation for the a k dot term, where s can have all values like 